What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tuck Rule Takes, episode 91, the Dietrich Wise episode Ooh, that's of Tuck everyone. Rule Takes. Uh, with me, as always, Liam, Big Al, I am Mike. You know why we're here. You know what we're here to talk about. Patriots, a lot of news has gone on this week. Um, no time for uh, for pleasantries, guys. We already did that last week. How's everybody doing? All that. I'm assuming we're all doing well, healthy, looking good, feeling good, smelling good for the most part. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's there's not much. I guess I'll kind of throw the floor out to you guys. Uh, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about to start the to start the podcast? Any any news? Any uh, any. Any receivers get signed somewhere? Oh, cut, cut, cut the cut the BS routine, Mike. Let's talk about DeAndre Hopkins. How he's. I see. I see. Liam's raising his hand. The, did... the news is done. We don't have to talk about him for another week. I'm furious the way it went down, but a blessing in disguise. Sweet, sweet relief. We don't sweet have to relief, cover this the anymore. sweet relief of death. Yep. Uh, yes, and now we get to unload all our worry, all our grievances, all our gripes, all our worst fears of the last what feels like three years, but must just be three months. We can finally let it all out and say, what a fucking idiot. I mean, for just opening opening thoughts, that's that that will we'll take we'll take that in from Liam. Um yeah, uh weird. I did I just didn't see him the signing Titans? with the Titans. Um like, I am come on. I am happy though that that it's it's over. We can move on. We can talk yeah. about the offense now. Although there's a couple pieces. There was someone, a certain running back was in for a visit today. I don't know if you guys saw. There's another mm-hmm. running back out there. There's a receiver. Two of them actually. Yeah, two, two of them. There's yeah. A, Yep, there are two. There's a receiver out there the Patriots are interested in. This will all be encompassed in the DeAndre Hopkins. I don't I don't um, even want to get my hopes up for another receiver. The ever DeAndre again. Hopkins can, news. Just keep bringing in the running back rumors. I'm done hearing about any receivers that could possibly <laughs> um, could be coming to Foxborough. Al, I think uh, I, I, I want to hear your start us off. Give us give us the thesis. Give us the jumping off point for this conversation. Where do you? Where where would you like to start? DeAndre Hopkins, by the way, just to clarify, two year deal signed with the Titans, uh, twenty six million dollars up to thirty two million. Oh yeah, pay up, fuckers. Thanks. Uh, so, um, yes, Liam did win the bet. By the day. way, so Fuck we'll yeah, we'll Venmo dude. him. You always live go with on sixteen, air. but damn we'll, right, we'll, we'll get him his money. But uh, um, Al Al already got it to me, so it's just you. Oh shit! Okay, and, all right, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it at the end you of this have, conversation. Uh, seven hours to do it, or I will tie cement blocks to your feet, and you will find yourself at the bottom of a Florida ocean. Wow! Probably not the first person that's down there, but Al, that, that was extreme. <laughs> Al, the floor is yours. Uh, Lead us off. T T S up. Where are we going? Bucks, no? was How much? How, or 10? My, Mike, uh, uh, ten, five each. Mike, I got a question for you. How much time do I have? I'm being serious. Man, we we you have all this, this. You are opening the conversation, man. You just you whatever you want to do. If you if you have a rant you want to get out, get it uh, out there. Good. Whatever you want to do, and then yep. we will jump off from there. Because I got thoughts. Liam's got thoughts, things to say, all that. Let's 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 fucking go. Get jump okay, in there. First, thank you at? for letting me. I I need to rant. So thank you for allowing me to do though do that. I appreciate it. It's not the fact that DeAndre Hopkins didn't sign with the Patriots. That's disappointing. And obviously, it's disappointing for multiple reasons, right? He took the visit. It seemed like yeah. he was interested in being here. He took the picture in the locker room with Judon, and we were all Dude, high we on that. Made, we made fun of the Titans' visit. They're like, they we put did. a picture of him in the taxi? What a bunch of idiots. We did. And looking at it, we were like, okay. You know, and all the reports were coming in. Oh, looks like there's positive feelings that the, the deal can get done. It can get done quickly. Could end up a Patriot. Things were looking good. What looking back on this whole process now, what drives me nuts is I hate to say it, guys, but it makes sense that he signed with the Titans. The Titans were the first team that brought him in for a visit. The Titans were the team that were the most aggressive. The Titans were the ones that stayed consistently in contact with him. I know the Patriots did too, but they were more like more, they were just more aggressive the whole time. It's a situation where what, Liam, you look like you, 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 are holding a fart in church. What? Who cares if they are first? Let it, let it, him, let him, let him get your shit off. Get your shit off. It's, we'll, I want to, okay, I want to, yeah, I mean, like, like, it, it's no, no, because there's, there's something to that because 
listen, early bird gets the worm. First one that gets the chance to do it. They're the ones that were most aggressive. Now, when it comes to the actual terms of the deal, it's a, it's about what we thought it was going to be, right? And I'm taking credit because I was very close to nailing that deal, like almost spot on. Like, and and you guys even know it too. I was very close to getting that deal almost precise. Who does? Thank you. The thing that drives me nuts, and, and listen, I love Bill Belichick. I do. Don't hold back. Don't mince your but, words. This, this, this no, is a safe space. It's, this it's, is a safe space. No, I know. It's but here's my thing. You gave DeAndre Hopkins uh, supposedly right around the same deal that the Titans gave him. Great. I'm okay with that. But the big thing was the guaranteed money. The Patriots, a lot of it was incentive based. Okay, fine. But if you really like the player, if you really love the player, if you think this player can come in and make a true difference for your football team in the one area where you needed a lot of improvement, I don't want to say a lot of improvement, but you needed a significant number one receiver. Wouldn't you just be like, okay, what's reasonable for the base salary? And then we can tie in the incentives, make the deal close. Because I guarantee you, if they made, excuse me, if they made the base salary close, I think he would have chosen New England. I really do. Because again, the situation I think in New England is better. The quarterback situation is better. The defense is better. The stable management is better. But when I hear that, looking back on it now, I think DeAndre Hopkins is full of shit. Because clearly this was all about the money, which is fine. Yeah. He's 30. He's 31 years old. He needs to, he needs, he's going to get one more payday and that's fine. I can respect that, but there's two sides of it here. Okay, fine. You don't get the player. What's your next step? Are you going to go after Dalvin cook? I know we're going to talk about it, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be likely right now, even though they're the betting favorites on DraftKings. What are they going to do at receiver? Are they comfortable with this group? Like, you know, I know Liam, you know, shits on Juju. Like, Mike, I know you and I like the Juju signing, but now he's even more important to this team. And I know you hate this here, Liam, with the eye roll, but guess what? It's true now. It is. And everybody else, Mike Jacecki, he needs to step up big time as a, as a free agent signing. Hunter Henry's in a contract mm-hmm. here. He need, now needs to step up. Kendrick Bourne looks like he's going to be staying in town for now. So he needs to make sure he steps up. Devontae Parker needs to stay healthy. Now you have a lot of what-ifs. You shirt up your offensive coordinator position with Bill O'Brien. You shirt up your offensive line coach and Adrian Clem. And those are great, great, great hires. And you, again, you substituted Juju for Jacoby Myers. All you needed was that outside piece. And I thought Hopkins was going to be perfect. That veteran receiver kind of helps Mac, gives him another weapon. And then that happens. So it's tough for me because I'm a fan. Listen, I'm a, I like good players. I want good players to come to my team. Of course. But I think what needs to happen now is the Patriots as an organization, and, I, and I'll be done with my rant after this point, because you guys have been gracious mm-hmm. enough to let me go on. Go off, King. <laughs> Do it. This Patriots organization needs to start thinking about do we shift our mentality in terms of when a good to great player has the opportunity to come here in the future. Do we stick with the quote Patriot way? And yeah, it's incentives. Yeah, you're, you're, the Patriots are looking to get the player at their price. Or do they go outside the box a little bit? And if they have the money, spend it a little bit because next year and the year after, they're going to be right up. I think they're going to be the top team in the NFL in cap space. So are they going to use that? Yeah, yeah. It's like the second most and then the first the next year. Yep. Right, Mm -hmm. right. So top three, the next two years. Are they going to spend that like the Bears did this offseason? Or are they just going to keep looking for players at their value? Because you don't have Tom Brady anymore. Like I know that sounds like a a homer take and I get that, but – You don't have Tom Brady anymore, so you don't have that factor working for you. Yes, Bill Belichick's the greatest head coach of all time, but you need more than that. And that's where my frustration comes into play. So Hopkins, good for you. You got the bag. Good luck in Tennessee. Have fun in Nashville. You know, don't eat any more bad clam chowder. He'll probably never have a a bowl of clam chowder again in his life, especially with pork in it, which is still weird. But bacon. it, it just seems like it was a miss by the Patriots. I'm not as upset now as I was when the signing originally happened, but I'm still plenty upset enough where it's like, I think he could have been a a difference 
for this Patriots team. And and that's where I'm going to leave it. So peeved. Rant. you're peeved. You're peeved right now. You're not more than peeved. more than peeved. Well, more than peeved, you're... but not like I want to jump out my window right here. So hey, you want to jump in? You, the you more, want to, you yeah, want to the respond? more, I, I just want to understand Al here. The moral of your rant is that instead of getting the stars occasionally, like when we got Corey Dillon, who was one of the best backs in the league, when we got Randy Moss, who was at the time people looked disrespectfully on him, but he was mm-hmm. still one of the best in the league. Well, instead of doing on career, occasion, still. Yeah. yeah. Instead of. Uh oh. Oh, no. Uh oh. He can't make his point. Okay. He's frozen. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. So, so while Liam. Yeah, well, Liam's gone. I, I, I think I, I think I get, I think I get where he's going, but I'll let him finish it when he jumps back in. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, here we go. He's back. Okay, Liam, you back? You good? Yeah. All right, keep going. So you're so, talking about Randy Moss. Go. Can you hear me? It says, yes, yes, you're good. You're no, good. I got well, you. Of course, it's you. fucking me this time. Usually, it's out. God damn it. Um, True. so friggin', instead of getting the occasional stars when they see an opportunity like they have in the past, what, what do you? what mindset do you want to have going forward? Like the Rams, the fuck them picks, like let's just go get Bobby Wagner and Allen Robinson, go get all these stars. Or you just want to be more aggressive than we are right now. More aggressive than we are. And when the situation presents presents itself, like it did this time, if you can go get the player and it's reasonable, go get the player. Yeah. Okay. Cause this time, obviously it was in handy. It could have went and got him, mm-hmm. but in the back of my mind, and I even said it, you know, trying to play devil's advocate with myself, he is older than Randy Moss was when he came to the Patriots. Like Hopkins. And don't forget, but don't forget Moss was, came here via trade too. Don't forget that. Yeah. But like, I'm just saying purely yeah, yeah, yeah. like talent and age wise, like uh, yes, we could have should could have and should have probably paid him more than whatever was offered. But I even expressed my doubt. I was like, he'll probably be good this year. And he very likely will be good next year. But then after that, what are you getting? And you could have just got him on a two-year deal and got rid of him. Mm. But if I'm thinking super early, almost way too early, obviously we probably need a very high pick for it. But there is Marvin Harrison Jr. in the next draft, who is the best fucking wide receiver I've seen in a long fucking time. And there are some other studs out there as well. That would be the irony, how much fun that would be. So – if I'm thinking like way too early here, I feel like there are chances to get better receivers for cheaper that can produce for longer. Even I don't know offhand what the free agent wide receivers are next year. I would imagine there's probably some that are just, you know, it's a very, it's, it's a weak class. It's Is a it? weak class next year. Okay. I'm going to look it up. But you never know. You never know who's going to get disgruntled, who's going to be available, the surprise trades and whatnot and all the stuff that moves around. If I was with a betting man still, I'm not no longer, I would bet that we can get marginally less production for longer and cheaper in the coming years. And maybe we just have to suffer through a shitty season this year or a subpar wide receiver season this year. But I like to think at some point, just like how we got Randy Moss and how we got Corey Dillon, there will be another stud that will come about. And it, with this one, it's like, we almost shouldn't settle for DeAndre Hopkins, even though I wanted him and it would have been great. So I, so D, obviously let me just, before I like kind of respond to what you guys have said too, we all wanted DeAndre Hopkins. We all thought the Patriots should have got him, that the deal was there to be made. Again, I feel like a lot of people are also missing the point where you can't force a player to sign a contract. Um, yeah. So just like when people are like, oh, you shouldn't have let, not you, Al, but people who were seriously yeah, yeah. upset saying like, you shouldn't have let him leave the building. What yeah. were they supposed to do? But like, so, so let me just get that out of the way. It'd be an awesome, like I said before, he, he would make this offense exciting. I, I told you guys it was Super Bowl If he comes here, like I was ready yeah. to go, ready yep. to go. But didn't say that. I, I, I kind of just have a couple of things. Like how many more wins does DeAndre Hopkins get you? Is this at a position of need? One, two? No, it's not at a position of need. Well, because you don't know how to... one, because we don't know what the offense is going to look. You have two really good tight ends. What if you throw if you throw DeAndre Hopkins? And this is me now kind of because I've had time to reconcile not getting him. So you you throw DeAndre Hopkins in the mix. That's awesome. You have him, Devontae Parker. We said if he gets uh injured, whatever, they can do their thing. Um, if there's incentives in the deal, how's he gonna hit that if you're still feeding the ball to Stevenson? 
at least half the time or so. If you're still throwing the ball to Hunter Henry, Mike How's he going to hit these incentives if they're feeding it to Derrick Henry? If you're still, I mean, at least on the Titans, he's pretty much it, except for Traylon Burks too. But it's just yeah, but it. that it is the entire it. He is the entire offense. Like true. I think he'll he'll get more carries than Ramondre Stevenson this upcoming year. I would guess no, he he definitely will. And it just it makes me think like this. He would have been a very 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 nice piece. But the way I see it, the analogy I have. Guys, you, the the three of us, Patriots fans, everybody, we already have dinner cooked for the for, for, for tonight. We already got everything that we're eating. We're eating pasta, garlic bread, shit on the side, whatever. DeAndre okay. Hopkins would have been, uh, no, actually, you know, we got pasta sauce, all that stuff. DeAndre Hopkins would have been the garlic bread on the side. You don't uh, need it. It would have been nice. It would have made, yeah. it would have made the meal better. It would have made the I really meal. wanted the garlic bread. It would, I, it, <laughs> see, it, this is my point. You really want the garlic bread. You really want that because it's good. You know how good it is. You know it tastes good. You know what it can do to the meal. But if you still have the pasta, the sauce, the meatball, you still got the meat and potatoes, so to speak. You still got enough to fill you up and still make it so you're not hungry after. This offense is still fine. Like I said last week, I'm still happy with the offense. Bill O'Brien and Mac Jones are the two important parts of the offense. Everybody else can fuck off. It does not matter who else you have out there if those two do not click and do not figure this offense out. And then obviously yeah. you have the offensive line too, which will help in all that stuff. And, you know, people seem to forget when you talk about the offense, it's like they forget that the running back position exists. Stevenson is one of the best offensive players that we have. So he's going to get the ball a lot. It's going to open up the, th- like it. I'm not saying that like, Oh, we didn't even want Hopkins anyways. Of course we did. Of course we did. And it seems yeah. like the contract, we want that been there. garlic bread. It would, the contract was close out. Like you said, our incentives were different, I guess. So he went somewhere. He obviously went to Tennessee a little bit easier incentives over there, whatever it is. Um, it's just, more guaranteed money. That's what it was. It was more guaranteed money. Which like in, in, you know, to, to kind of go to your point Al, when you said that, you know, should, should the Patriots be aggressive or, or, you know, in certain times for these players and stuff, they have been for the last 20 years for trades or signing people. Think of all the players that have come in here. Starting all the way back with, I mean, we brought him up, I think, what, consecutive weeks now. Corey Dillon, whether it's trades or signings, we brought him in. Wes Welker, Randy Moss. Wes Welker but, wasn't a big name at the time. He didn't He didn't work out. Well, I'm just talking about getting players in here. Oh, yeah. He, he, did, he didn't work out. Chad Ochocinco. Um, like, there's there's plenty of players who have, who the page, two years ago, John New Smith, Hunter Henry, Kendrick Bourne, yeah. who everybody loves him. Devontae Parker, yeah. who just signed another deal, another extension. Players Brandon are coming Lloyd, in here. Dante I don't, Stallworth, Reggie Lane, I don't think like exactly tried. like a, a lot of people we came get in. Names. I don't I don't think that missing and I think this DeAndre Hopkins thing hurts the most. One, because of that clip we saw Belichick and him gushing over each other. Yeah. Two, it's a name everybody knows. It but they, they could have been kissing think... on the sidelines all season long and they passed it up. I just don't think this is this earth shattering. You have to rethink how you do things. What, what which, hurts which is I'll it's, agree. It, it's it the is the same a fucking extent. team. That's what chaps my cock is that the Titans are the exact same team as the Patriots, except maybe slightly worse. Like they run the ball a lot. So do we. They yeah. probably have a better running back than us. So they might even run it more than us. Mm-hmm. Their receiving core is actually kind of downright terrible ours is oh, yeah. middle of the worst in the league so i think some it's still the worst people, in the league <laughs> yeah some people would say the patriots receiving core is terrible i wouldn't go that far but neither one has a good receiving core both offensive lines pretty all right derrick henry really makes the offensive line they're not stellar they're not terrible the there's just so much similarity they're kind of run the same way their friggin' head coach is a former patriot it's like if we're gonna lose out what Al prepared us for. Al was getting us ready for the big breakup where it's like, oh, he's going to the Chiefs. Oh, he's going to the Bills. And then you understand. You're like, shit. You're like, I get it. Yeah. I would go there too. Yeah. But he went to the Titans. Yeah. Right. He's their he's their only fucking wide receiver. Yeah. They tried to bench their starting quarterback last year. They took a guy at the end of the first round that no one wanted. And um they their first round pick quarterback from the year before then they gave up on after like three right. games right. and I'm looking at it and I'm like, why would you do this? What are you thinking, Deandre? 
because it goes against it goes against everything that he mentioned on the I am athlete podcast yeah, against exactly. everything. Yep. And like yep. you said, you fucking lied. And that's what yep. the, that's don't the, care. That's the thing. Right. And, and yeah. I, I know I said this in my rant, but just to reemphasize it, look at their situation in Tennessee stable uh, uh, quarterback that loves the game. They don't even know who's starting week one. They don't know yeah. if it's Tannehill. They don't know if it's Levis. They don't know if it's Malik Willis. They don't know who's starting. Their quarterback played quarterback. fucking wide receiver in college. It's like, what are you people right. doing? Well, Malik Cunningham might be playing wide receiver and everything, everything for the Patriots. He was a quarterback. But anyways, the defense, I don't know about Tennessee's defense, but I don't think they're up on the level of the Patriots where no, middle the of Patriots good. are at they the They got some worst. good pass rushers like we do. Yeah. Right, but at the yeah, worst, bro. the Patriots I think are a top ten defense. At the worst, yeah, yeah. and Absolute then worse, yeah, and then a stable management. They got a new GM at the beginning of the year, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't know what this guy is going to do. The you don't know what he's going to lunacy to me. It's it was money. It it's so out, which annoying. is money, but thing. just say it's that. Like, just say exactly. It. It's like, man, I want to get paid, and no one's going to be like, oh. What an asshole. He wants more money. Like, it's People okay. People will respect you... that. They'll respect yeah. the fact that he's being I'm honest saying, and yep. Exactly. It's like, dude, yep. just say Because we all want the money. If the Titans went to Al and was like, hey, we will give you, you know, $8 million to show up and kiss some ass, I'll be like, fuck yeah. And then yeah. if the Patriots were offering, if the Patriots offered $1 million as opposed to the Titans 8, doesn't matter how big of a Patriots fan Al is. He'd be like, the titans oh. offered me seven million more i'm gonna go work exactly. for them and it's yes. like dude just say that and i i was i was listening to a podcast paul george has a podcast which is fucking terrible but they they had like a, a conversation him and damar and they were talking about how players in the league like clearly only care about the money and some of them don't actually like basketball and he's like you can just tell like some people ball is not life and he goes and that's totally fine but then they'll yep. talk about how all they want to do is be good at basketball. He goes, then they go home and game for nine hours, but they'll practice for two hours each day. Tyler he's Murray, like, anyone? Yeah. He's like, is Something basketball up. really life? And it's like, that's the same thing. It's like, don't go on the I Am Athlete pro- podcast and talk all this shit. I want a stud quarterback. I want this. I want that. You don't have any of the qualities that you wanted in a quarterback with any of the three quarterbacks that you have on the Titans. You don't have any of the organizational traits that you were listing. It's like, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I mean, he, he, he chose the money. You know, I, I saw people, oh, he chose he you know, Ryan Tannehill over Mac Jones. Not really. He chose, no, he chose money. The money to- oh, money God, spoke no. at the end of the day, which is fine, but it's just it, it, the, the, the whole like th- th- this whole saga, whatever going on, it's like, dude, just cool. You went to the Titans. How yeah. how much better are the Titans with him? Maybe a couple games better. How many games would the yeah. Patriots have been better with with him? Maybe one. Like I, I think the that's difference like is kind of boils he can down win to. the without DeAndre Hopkins. The Titans win probably like you know he could win like three or four more games for them just because he's good and they're terrible with the Patriots. Cause there's someone in the room now. Yeah. More. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So he does it, have it, more impact on the Titans, but you're still going to catch like three passes a game and four of them are going to sail over your head and get picked off. So have fun with that. Yeah. Because, and, and I see people say, and this is a kind of uh, another thing that it has to do with where, you know, we've all said it too. DeAndre Hopkins being here really would have helped Mac Jones in his third year, which, which is true. Yep. It certainly would have, but you know what really helps Mac Jones? A good offense. He has players that he has built rapport with. Who is even to say, and I know we we're all assuming, but who's to say Hopkins comes in and him and Mac Jones, like what if it's like, you know, when Tom Brady would have uh, wide receivers come in and like, it's like, why aren't you using him? And it's, yeah, and it's just <laughs> nothing, nothing. Just doesn't even look their way. I'm not saying that's what Mac Jones would do, but like, it's just, I, it's frustrating. That he's not here, it would have made the offense a little bit easier on everybody. Uh, it would have been definitely more exciting to watch, I guess, because it's a name that you that you know. But, but you know, I I saw some article. I think it was from NBCSN or the Globe or something like that, and they said that, um, you know, Belichick again is making it hard on on Mac Jones or like he's not helping the offense out. And it's like, guys, and Liam, all your feelings aside. He went out there and got the leading receiver from the Super Bowl winning team. Like, I, I, I get that it's an eye roll for you, Liam. But at this point, though, like looking at it like this, 
the eye roll is because you don't like him, which is fine. No. That is a great option for Mac Jones to throw the ball to. You cannot deny that. He is a step up from Myers. He makes the entire room better. If So it's not like Belichick two, is, if, hasn't done In anything. the 2013 season, the Patriots signed David Tyree. Would you be like, oh, fuck yeah. We just got this the isn't David Tyree, dude. Yeah, this isn't that's David not a Tyree. good comparison. That's a dumb compare. Come on, man. Your 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 hatred for Juju is, is, is showing sure. right You're, now. Wait a minute. It's you not really close, dude. Mike, hold on. You really just compared Juju Smith-Schuster to David Tyree because David Tyree made one catch. So you're implying that Juju is that had all one is that moment. All? Is that no, all you're David implying Tyree he had, had one moment. He just had that one catch? He had that one moment where people knew his name. He where people knew who he was. Super Bowl. How many touchdowns did Juju have in that fucking Super Bowl? Doesn't David matter, Tyree had the first touchdown of the game. Mike Vrabel had a touchdown too in the Super Bowl. I know he won a he Super two. Bowl. But, like, but even so, it's it's like, what are you? what's the point? I'm saying doesn't matter. If you are the leading receiver on a Super Bowl team or the, the best player in a Super yes, Bowl, yes, it does though. Yes, it a no, thousand it percent does. It dude. really doesn't. Yes, it does. It totally doesn't. Because Chris Matthews because was bagging talented. groceries you're and then he was a, mossing people against the Patriots for the you're, Seahawks. You're and then we're, what did he do after the Super Bowl? Fucking nothing. Doesn't you're on matter a talented what you do. team. A team with with obviously yeah. Mahomes, Kelsey, whoever else. If they there. make the Super Bowl, they're a fucking super talented team. That's yes, why they are. And he and he got he got more than nine hundred yards last year you can't enough enough any, i can any, only any sit receiver, back so long any receiver can get 900 yards on the chiefs you are any no receiver. no that's what no pick, stop pick stop any wide There's, receiver in the league no, they will all no. get 900 dude it's the chiefs no, no. okay do you want to go then, back then, to the then why is, is michael hardman still not there if it's so easy to play in kansas city why did he leave because his contract was up and he's not good enough that they're going to resign him he, like I like could, him, he's he's perfect, but he's perfect for the Chiefs. But like, the, what are they going to sign him to a fat overpay deal for a dude who just run Jets? They could sign him for a two year two year cheap deal if they really. Yeah, but you, know. you see the deal he got with the Jets. He didn't get a cheap two year deal. He's going to take the money like that punk ass DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> you see? Did you know Juju stats in twenty eighteen? His he had that great year when Antonio Brown was on the team, and then twenty twenty he had a good year as well, and then twenty seventeen he had, he had a good right. year. And then 2022, he had a good year. So his first year was his great year with Antonio Brown, I believe. His first year, he had 917. That was his rookie year. Second year, he had 1426. Uh, Then he only played 12 games. He was injured. He had 552. Uh, 2020, COVID year. He played 12 games and only had 500 He played 12 games. He was injured. Yeah, yeah. He he was injured. 552 yards. 12 games. He missed and four then, games and still finished with 500 yards. If he played those and, four games, he would have finished with like 600 yards. No, that's wrong. So, and then he had, um, and then in 2020, played 16 games, uh, 840, 831 yards. Uh, 2021, only played five games, almost injured. I'll go, I mean, we all know his his year then. And then 2022, the year you don't want to look at, he had 933 yards, I, won a Super Bowl. I do. So, I dude, totally will look I at I get it. it that you don't like him, just like how I don't like Travis Kelsey, so I'll say whatever dude, I can no, no, to no, do no, it. No, but Travis Kelsey's good. There's a the difference. Point, you can hate the him, point, but he's good. Dude, Juju is still good. The point that good. I'm saying any, is any that... Any receiver that you can name will put up at least bullshit we'll see this year we'll see this year we'll see what happens this year we will we will and if he has and if he has a good season then you're gonna have to eat crow which i'm i know will, and i will and i'm ready for it because it's not gonna happen my point isn't even to get into this nonsense that you feel about juju it's just to say that you fucking bring it up every time it's to say because every time we bring him up you roll your eyes every time you shouldn't bring him up then just ignore we it. Part of the football my team. Yeah, it we'll see about that when he misses the entire season with an injury or has 11 drops. He's going to be ready for training camp ass. next week. He's fine. Yeah. yeah, for now. And then he'll get hurt next week. It oh is gosh. all to say that Bill Belichick has brought in weapons for Matt Jones. That is Can't what I am talking about. I don't give a numbers. shit how so. you feel about about Juju. Everybody else in the league heresy. thinks that he's good. Haram. It is not heresy. To give him number Shut seven. Shut up. Is Go root for the Eagles some more, buddy. So it Sick is it. it is Juju. Think he brought in Mike Gesicki, who no one no one has anything bad to say about Mike Gesicki. No, Do you have anything bad to say about him? You no, like he's him. A stud. I love you Mike think Gusecki. he's a stud and not Juju. But yes. Okay. So but you have Dude, him, you have him and Hunter really Henry. 
Those are yeah. great options. Juju, they Dude, just Mike signed Kisaki's Devontae a better Parker. wide receiver than Juju Smith is. They if just Mike signed Kisaki Kisaki was I'm on not the even Chiefs, listening to you. I'm not it's even true. listening to you. I'm not even listening to you. They just signed Devon, re-signed Devontae Parker, who I think we oh. all, except for Al, because Al doesn't like him or Mac Jones. So yeah. Devontae Parker is a very, very good option if he stays healthy, obviously. That's yep. the big thing with him. But when he is healthy, the dude is awesome. And then Kendrick yep. Bourne obviously has been here. Tyquan Thornton has been here. So that's that you know everybody's expecting Thornton to take a leap. Yeah. Who knows? If that happens, Ballers. this conversation is moot because if he balls out, it's not going to matter yeah, if, he, uh, if DeAndre Hopkins is uh, is here. No, Kendrick Bourne will be gone if Tyquan Thornton balls out. Um, but all all that is to say that I, I saw a lot of that discourse too. I don't agree with that either. So I don't I, I don't know. Do you guys have anything else to say? strictly about DeAndre Hopkins or do you want to kind of bring Bill Belichick into this conversation? And everybody I'm just else. excited to see his career fall apart slowly over the next couple of years. So did you see I, I think oh, fuck, who one of you guys sent it? I think Lynn I did, did. The, the, an Instagram where, where was uh, wide receivers go to who die. was it Andre Randy Johnson Moss, right? Andre Johnson Oh uh, <laughs> shit! There was another one. Randy Moss, Andre Johnson. Randy Moss, Andre Johnson, Julio Jones. And oh, now, Julio Jones. And now and DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins. So it's, it's like, like oh, how the mighty have fallen. Those are all studs, and they all sucked. I don't know. It 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 just it. Like I have you turned now because Andre obviously Johnson. now like all people. Andre I loved Andre Johnson, Johnson man. I love I loved all three it, of those receivers they brought in. A hundred percent. You're preaching the congregation. I'm the biggest Andre Johnson guy. When he was Hell beating yeah. up Cortland Finnegan, I was like, kill him. I was and like, then he went to the team to that Matt Finnegan blood. played on. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> excellent. I love oh. him. And he went to the U, so I'm eternally oh, in that right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um but yeah, I think uh, just kind of overall to wrap up like the strictly DeAndre Hopkins stuff, because I want to talk about all the discourse that this this has brought upon Bill Belichick and everything and just the Patriots as a whole, too. But um, it sucks. I I still don't think, and obviously because I'm a Patriots fan, I feel this way. If I was a fan of the Titans, I wouldn't. I don't think he made the right decision. I think he would have more success on the Patriots. Uh, he might have, have more. On any other team. He might have more stats maybe with the Titans, but the Titans, I still stand by it. People are now saying the Titans are going to win the division. They're the newsflash. The Jaguars are winning that division. Um, yeah. They're, they're better than every other team in the division. I'm not even, I'm not even in love with the Jags like everybody else is, but they are winning that division. The Titans are not the Titans, just like the jets to me, they're going to miss the playoffs. So that's yeah, that. If, if, if that's a hot take, win it. It is. I don't think it is. The Colts might even be better. So I don't, I don't know. It, it sucks, but I still think knowing he, Jim Ursay is up for thing. blow and drunk driving. There's no way that team doesn't win the division. Um, Yeah, that'd be, uh, it'd be so funny if the Colts win and like the Jags and the Titans miss the playoffs, Just but, so um, oh, but okay. Blows, so. Al, you yes. said some things about how you feel about the 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 Patriots. How this was a miss, and how they have to, or, or you know, should they change the way they go about thinking and all that stuff. Back to the drawing board. I I don't agree with the last thing where they should change how it goes because I think in some cases you just get a player. Sometimes you don't get a player. I think it's 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 more of a. There's so many different factors that we probably don't even know about in free agency. Probably just overall. It's going to sound stupid, but just the vibes of where he is. Maybe he yeah. just liked Tennessee Nature more. Really like sometimes you knows? eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. He's 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 what thirty one. Hopkins is uh -huh. right now, I believe. Uh -huh. Right? Is he thirty? Who knows? I thought he was thirty. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to come to. I mean, the the Patriots are fun. Are fun. Everybody says that, but maybe the Titans seem more fun oriented than New England does. We all know New England; they run their their stuff a little bit tighter than other yeah, organizations well, maybe yeah. he didn't want to come here i am just seeing shit now where it's players you know all oh, people don't want to come play with belichick eh, you know ever since brady left blah 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 which makes me think because these are the same people who said that belichick never got any talent for tom brady but yet now they're saying that talent doesn't want to come play on the offense but they did when brady was here so i don't know people are twisting their their minds yeah. and a pretzel. No one has Belichick's on the hot seat, supposedly now, all because of this. It just brings me back. It's DeAndre Hopkins, great receiver, really yeah. good when he's healthy. Not that he has health issues, but just he has a little bit here and there. But when when he's Gets on the suspended. field, very very good. Yeah. But we have to stop. We have to stop with these sweeping things where if a, if if the Patriots don't get this guy, 
oh my god yeah this is gonna have now the offense is this guess what the offense going on without him was fine everything was going to be fine deandre hopkins was just an addition and just the people are saying that belichick really missed the ball here but Al, like like I said, I I just wanted to. I, I don't think that they have to change how they're doing things. I think how they how they're doing things have still brought them free agents. Mike Gesicki, it brought them Hunter Henry, John U. Smith. We don't speak his name because he did nothing, but it brought him over mm-hmm. here. We got um, James Robinson, even though he was but, injured. That was kind of a big. We got game. him, I like James Robinson. He dipped out real quick. Kendrick Bourne, yeah. Devontae Parker, a few years prior as well. So like people still, and then obviously on on defense, players are coming left and right. Like we don't need to go into that. We know so many players that have come and left and then come back too. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't think they have to really change, change a bunch of stuff. So let you me, know? let me, let me, let me respond to that. Yeah. Because I see where you're coming from. I really, really do. But I want you yeah. to think about a couple the things Super with, with, with what you said. John Smith and Hunter Henry. Yeah. The Patriots had money. They needed to go do that. Cause that 2020 roster to finish seven and nine, they needed was yep. miracle. Was a miracle. Cam Newton, like you guys can agree. Team. You guys can agree that roster might have been the worst Patriots roster in our lifetime that we've. Bro, seen. wasn't great. Demir Finally. Birds out Thank there being you. your number our one wide receiver. Yeah, dude. Yes, oh, our lifetime. Cam I'm starting to come around. I'm starting to come around. Dude. But anyways, Thank you. So 2021, God, James right? White was our leading catch. He caught the most passes. I was like, this is yes. fucking disgusting. So Johnu Smith. And Hunter Henry, yes, you had to give that those contracts to. You needed mm-hmm. to upgrade the tight end position because mm-hmm. after Gronk left, your tight end position was horrible. Yeah. Right. Was yep. not right? In. Okay. A thousand percent. Yep. Matt Lacoste. You mentioned – who, who else did you mention? Devontae Parker. Nice piece, but again, the health concerns, that comes yeah. into play. Mm-hmm. It does yes. because we've but said number it. One receiver he can't stay healthy. Kind of a cheaper deal, right? Because yeah. he's mm-hmm. not – before the contract extension, he wasn't getting a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Okay. So so there's that. There was another player you mentioned. Who's the other player you mentioned? Kendrick Bourne. Ke- yeah. Kendrick Bourne. Also a number one receiver on the Super Bowl team. Anyways. He was. Well, yeah. he was. I, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a great thing, but he was. Now it means something. Sure. But I'm trying to think. There was no, there was just, another. You know. Juju other, was apparently like the other sign. Like, like I'm just trying game. to think of like other signings because there was but, one. There was right. one other one you mentioned in, in your rebuttal. I'm Gis- trying to think. I, who... I said Gesicki. Okay, uh, yeah, Liam... just Gesicki. Nine million oh, dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, nine million. Like, again, what? What does I, the money have to do with anything though? The the problem that I'm having is that these guys are coming in on one year deal. To like, yes, Hunter Henry, John Smith. They got multi-year deals and they got significant contracts. But again, so did Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne got multi-year. Yes, and Kendrick Bourne, right, because he got three years. So everyone they, but, but one person. Okay. Yes. They Okay, so they had to. Okay, but they had to do those. They had mm-hmm. to bring in some players for that. Yes. Now, what I'm, yep. now what I'm saying is, now what I'm saying is, if you have a chance, and I'm going to bring back to Hopkins for just one second. Liam, oh, yeah, you no, mentioned this, it too. This encompasses him. Yeah, yeah it, all, sure. it all comes back to Hopkins. Yeah. But Liam, you said like, yeah – you know, Hopkins, he'd be good for this year, maybe next year. That's all you really need him for. That's all you really needed DeAndre Hopkins for was this year and next year because, again, it gives Mac Jones another weapon. And that's something that I wanted to see happen so that way he could have yeah. more, you know, just more help. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I think what I think what bothers me the most, again, to answer your question, Mike, like what bothers me with the money, it's that it's just it always has to be on – the Patriots terms. And I'm not saying all the time. I want that clear. I don't want it every so signing good business. that there's so good yes. business upsets you. No, no, stop. Stop trying to twist my words. I don't know. We gave not, Smith it's not, a lot it's of money not good. It's not the fact it. that no, listen, some players. Yes. Some I players know. you're going to bring in on cheaper deals, but for the big time talent, if you want to bring in someone in the future, that is a big name. Like, and I'm just going to throw out a name because in a couple of years, he's going to be a free agent, potentially Justin Jefferson. Mm-hmm. If you want to go get Justin Jefferson, you're going to have to pay for him. You can't be the New yeah. England Patriots of old. You're going to have to go pay to get that player. If you mm-hmm. want to go get like a Jamar Chase, again, these are really big names. Even like next year in the free agency class, Mike Evans is a free agent. If you want to get Mike Evans, you might have to pay a little bit more than you're comfortable with. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Probably, I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying once in a while, break out of that mold mm-hmm. to get talent in here. 
if you they can get talent. Well, with Corey Dillon, they signed him to a five year seven. That was over. That was deal. almost twenty years ago, I know, bud. I know. I'm but talking right time, now. I know. Right but, now. Uh, but like, still, I'm saying that there is examples of them forking out for a player that's worth it. Five well, years, seventeen mil so, in two thousand four. So they do. It was a lot of money. They do. Al, you said you know sometimes you got to fork out money or whatever to get talented players in here. You would you would still agree that all the players you named before with the Parker, Henry, Gasicki, Smith, the Kendrick Bohr, all talented players, right? At positions of need because we needed them at the time, right? Like big time needs for the most part. Did the Patriots yes. need DeAndre Hopkins? They could. No. De- I would. I. Did I they would need say, him though. I would say yes. They no, definitely they needed him. So for because that they outside didn't get him as a seasonal. Because loss. you can have you can have that threat. You can have that outside threat. I know Devontae you can say Devontae Parker. I knew you were going to say that. I. He but is. still. But I would. Yeah. Who would you rather have, DeAndre Hopkins or Devontae Parker? That's neither Obviously here nor that. there, though. They no, I'm just asking you. But house. I'm asking you the question. I'm asking you the question. Who well, would you rather have, DeAndre Hopkins? He's he's better, but we don't need him. That's a one. Okay, so I want him. I brought, him. You could have brought him in as a one receiver for that. Outside. Could have. Could have. And you should Want. have. And would have been nice. Have. Why? And you should have. Why? What What does he bring that, that – is he that much better than Devontae Parker right now when yes. they're both healthy on the field? Yes, because – When it comes Devon- to win, that's – like like when it comes to win, it, is, it is him winning. being on the field over there? No, he does not. I understand. Devontae see, Parker is better – I mean, um, DeAndre Hopkins is better than Devontae Parker. Duh. But I think they don't would, need him, yeah, which I think is the difference nice. that they needed all the other guys that that we that uh, that we just spoke about. Yeah, it would have been nice to see them. It, this is a big prove it year for Mac to go all out. And even if DeAndre Hopkins didn't work, it would have been nice at the end of you know Hopkins' two year Patriot career to go. Well, it didn't work. He sucked, but at least we tried. So right. I yeah. understand. Yeah, I understand what you're saying there, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like. Wouldn't we be doing that with Devontae Parker anyway, where it's like, we just signed him to a big deal. What if he's injured the next two years or what if he's great? And then you're like, all right, well, that actually worked out. Maybe it's surprisingly nice or maybe, well, he was injured the entire time. So that sucked. Like, yeah, that's kind yeah, of, I know that that was, I, th- I think the, the tough part, um, Al and Liam, when it comes to like talking about him, I think we, we all wanted him. But it's yeah. like of 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 varying degrees. Does everybody think like how much the Patriots needed him? Because I know like a lot of people. I don't think anyone here. A lot of people are basically saying like, oh, DeAndre Hopkins isn't here. Like, oh, we're gonna have an offense just like last year. That's just that's patently false. That's incorrect. You have an actual offensive coordinator. You have it's just it, it. You have a better offensive line. Like everything line coach. Like there's gonna be more cohesion. That's just wrong. But. It still would have been nice for sure. And Belichick, uh, I mean, Belichick did what the, what he's done for the last twenty, however yeah. many years. But your he point try, was he just wasn't in. needed. And, and, and yeah, and I think that's what. Now, if yeah. let's say let's bring the situation that we were talking about when they got Hunter Henry and Johnu Smith when they had no tight ends for, other than fucking Dalton Keene, Devin Asiasi, and fucking Matt Lacoste. <laughs> but like there, there yeah. was nobody that there was nobody there. So Belichick then, not only did he get people that he liked, he got he got someone he really liked in Hunter Henry, and he got the most talented, versatile, whatever guy on the market in John U. Smith. If that situation he got was the top right two tight now, ends on the market. Yeah, if that situation was right now where the Patriots had Tyquan Thornton and Kendrick Bourne or something yeah. like that, it's like, okay, I guarantee you DeAndre Hopkins would be suiting up for the Patriots next year. Or, or, or this year, whatever. You know what I mean? The season's yeah, coming yeah, up yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I just, I think Belichick saw it that this isn't a position where you need to absolutely overextend yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? We're great, regardless of what anybody else thinks. Belichick and everybody who runs the team, it's just, would we want him? Yes, that's why we brought him in. That's why we gave him a, 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 a competitive contract, even though at the end of the day, obviously a little bit more money over there incentives were more so over here it is what it is but it just wasn't a position of need in belichick's eyes and i tend to lean that way even though i think it would have been awesome it would have helped everybody here i mean yeah. deandre hopkins even tweeted it out he said whatever room i go to it's going to help you know all the other receivers so of course it is because you're a talented yeah. guy you put any just like putting mike gasecki next to hunter henry is going to help hunter henry you put Hopkins next to Parker, Bourne, Thornton, yeah. Juju. It's going to help them. 
but I just don't think it was a position of need. And I don't know how many wins, which I guess you can't really quantify that, but um, so, it just wasn't a position of need for me. So if, it, so if it's not a position in need, then why even let him take the visit? Why not just say, you know what, DeAndre, you're a good player. It's DeAndre Hopkins. So what? You just said that it's not a position of need. So clearly you can bring someone else in. Like they have an interest in Denzel. You, you sound like you're on 98.5, my man. You well, sound no, like, well, you sound well, like you're minute, talking with Belger and Maz. That's wait how a you minute. sound. Because you wait always want to bring talent on a team. You sound, yes, you do. You you lost this argument, so now you're trying to find a way to come in and another thing. Just like when I, I tried to we, twist your words, lost to say that you don't like good business. Argument on both sides. Remember, you don't like good business. No, no, you're trying to good business. You're doing this thing. No, 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 no. You're doing this thing where you finish with my words. You twist my words per usual. Unbelievable. But again, hater. Yeah, yeah. See, that's another thing you twist too, because I said one time, like, I like Mac Jones, but hey, and we're all in agreement on that, but I'm not, we're not going to get into that. That might be a next season discussion. I thought we were but all in agreement. We, we, we are. Listen, listen, take your back cap go, go, go. and your so floor to so The bottom, the the bottom not, line is. Do you see my sand lines, in, by the way? Yeah, those are pretty it bad. It is so. Look, Have you look been out in the like fields? This. Where... Look at this. No, but it's horrible. Horrible. But I'm sorry. So go. So, so if it's not a position of need, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins, why do you it's bring not him like, in? It's Go. not like he's Jamar Chase or Justin Jefferson now either. He's not no longer a top three receiver in the league. Hmm. He's top 10 but, when he's, you know. I was going to say, you could probably utilized. say top 10. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I was actually, yeah, that's the number I was going to say too. Mm-hmm. So with that, but again, this is this is the part I'm trying to understand. Now, I'm not trying to sound 98.5 sports talk. I want to know your brain here. So I want to know what you're thinking. Good so God, you just said, yeah, I know that, that that that's a very complex situation, but you say it's not a position in need, which fine, that's not a problem. So why is it right? And I'm trying to understand this. Why is it that they'll have Hopkins in for a visit? Supposedly they're interested in Denzel Mims because he's going to get released by the Jets if they don't think that they can still upgrade the position to make it better for the upcoming season. That's the part that I'm trying to understand and understand so- where your thinking is. So why? So you you're asking me why I think they brought in DeAndre Hopkins. And I'll, we'll get to the Mims thing in a second. But you're asking me why I think they brought in DeAndre Hopkins if we don't think it's a position of need. That's what you're asking. Yes, take it. Take a part. Because, take yeah. aside the talent because I yeah. understand the talent. Because well, yes, the talent he's a talented is the player. thing. That's 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 that you can't take aside the talent because so then, then clearly the, the entire between, draw. So then the clearly. Sorry. Go no, 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 no. I was going to say you have because if you don't take out if you don't. If you don't put the talent in, then what's the difference? But why why did the Titans bring him in? Why didn't the Titans get Denzel Mims instead? Like it, it's 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 the talent. That's why. But, um, because but, they, but what were you gonna say? Yeah, but keep going. Because they recognized both teams recognized they mm-hmm. needed a decent sized upgrade at the position. Nope. Nope. Yeah, yes. Nope. You said yes. need. They don't know it's they a need and the upgrade. Titans and do. it's an the upgrade, Titans right? Do. And the it's Titans an upgrade, have, right? Nope. The Titans have no. The Titans do just because something's an upgrade doesn't mean it's a need. If the Patriots want to go out there and try to get Patrick Mahomes, that's an upgrade. But they don't need a quarterback right now. The Patriots could go out there and get a better pass rusher than Matthew Judon, but they don't need one right now. That's my point. I don't think that it's a. It's if DeAndre Hopkins might want to come to your team, you'd have to be a fucking idiot not to bring him in. You know what I mean? Like, I do, I do, I do. Because otherwise, and, and, what are you doing? You're not a good, you're not a good GM. You should be fired on the spot. If DeAndre Hopkins has shown interest, and you say, "Ah, no, we'll pass," but you like him enough to bring him in, and if it was a position of need, then you you might, who knows? Maybe maybe you throw whatever the Titans guaranteed was. You either match it or you throw an extra or like something. Yeah, like you, you spice it up. You throw some garlic bread. You throw some porkless <laughs> clam chowder in the deal. I don't know what they do, <laughs> but like, I, okay. so, so I think because if, if you have, if you, ha- and I think Belichick and not just Belichick, many coaches have said this. If you have an opportunity to bring in talent on your team, the, 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 the goal of a GM or a coach is to hoard talent. I think it was Belichick that said that I'm pretty sure other coaches have too. I don't remember who, but that's your goal. Pour it as much talent as you can. And then whoever comes out in the wash comes out in the wash at the end of the day, at least, you know, you have a bunch of talented people. You know what I mean? So that's yes. why I don't think that them bringing him in showed that they need it. And I sure as shit don't think that them kicking the tires on Denzel Mims means that they means that they hate their room. It's just bring in people like they do that. Like they brought in James Robinson. 
didn't necessarily need him because you Which got I... Ty Montgomery. You have uh, the the two rookies, Harris and uh, Strong, then obviously Stevenson. So yes. it's like, I, I'll I, tell you I, what, I think he's trying to bring in talent. I'll tell you what, we can we can agree to disagree on that. That's totally fine. Not a problem. What do you disagree with though? That's that which, which I disagree I with the we fact... will agree to disagree. But like what yes. what is your side of it then? So why do you so like what what differs with what I think as opposed I th- to how you think? I think that I think they need a significant upgrade to the point that it's a need, that they need a true like number one receiver. I think they need that. I think that is a need. You don't think that that is a need, and that's fine. That's where I think the big difference is with you and I. You're like the wide receiver room is fine, but I think they can use that upgrade. You think it's fine, but you don't think they can use that upgrade. And I think that's the big difference, which is fine. Well, see, I'm not saying they couldn't use it. They could. I just but you're saying they don't need it, and I'm saying they do need it. That's where we differ. Yeah, and I and I think that's the that's that's thing. And obviously, your Mac Jones hate too. But like that's the that's the difference in like how we feel about this (laughs) offense. Where it like again, do not get me wrong. I don't want DeAndre Hopkins would have been fucking amazing on this team. I think assuming that like everybody jives and all that, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. but it's just like, I don't think that they, that they needed to upgrade in, in this whole wide receiver, one that a number one receiver. I, it, it's all subjective because Liam's just one without one. Liam, exact Juju were, Juju was the Chiefs' number one receiver. We just got them, but now he's not a number one receiver here. Why? Just yeah. because that's true. That is because a great point. just because he's on the Patriots, he's not a number just one because receiver. that's why. Like I yeah, it, 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 and, and I am not saying that Juju is better than Hopkins. No, not all uh, number one receivers are created equal. Like there are better number ones than Hopkins. There are better ones than Juju. Juju's right. better than one. Yeah, like you know what I mean. But like you get the number one receiver and that's part of why Liam, I said they got a number one receiver from somewhere else, not to like ruffle your juju feathers because like, obviously, you know, but it's like a number one receiver, everybody, you know, you need the, the, you need the wide receiver one, need the wide receiver one. Juju was that for the chiefs. You got that. But yet now that he's here, he's not that. He's not even a wide receiver. He's not even looked at as that. People are like, oh, he's going to be in the slot. We need someone else. It's like you, why? Why can't he be the number one receiver here? I know he's a different He's a different guy. Hopkins brings different talent, jump balls, all that fun stuff. But like, why can't Juju be the number one here? And then have Parker be the number two, and then everybody else fights for three and four. You know, Liam, no. <laughs> we know why he can't in your eyes. He, We know why, which I hope you're wrong. But I'm not saying that you won't be right. Who knows what's going to happen with Juju here? But I'm saying he could very well be. He, what happens if Juju has better numbers than DeAndre Hopkins? Then Then that's great. I I will shoot myself. Is is he a wide receiver one, or is he just not? Yeah, I think people are also caught up in the name DeAndre Hopkins. People want names. Hundred percent. People want fucking names, and that's why I said he's no longer a top. I wouldn't even say he's a top five receiver anymore. Like he, he's a great, like. I think Al hit on the head. You said top 10. I I think he's, I think he's top 10. He's like if Michael Thomas was available right now. And I love, I think Michael Thomas is better than DeAndre Hopkins right now. And you know, the last couple of years, even with his injuries. He has been, he he has been. That's a good, that's a good. And and that's why I compared them because like Michael Thomas was sick three years ago. DeAndre Hopkins. Sick three years ago and it's like they've they've maintained decent production when michael thomas played last season big baller but he rarely plays so it's completely different because hopkins just gets suspended thomas doesn't play but like when he does he's a baller so it's like and at this point like i'd probably rather michael thomas uh on the patriots regardless but that's not here nor yeah. there i thought that I was going to be a thing i think we need to move on from hopkins because we yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm good with him i'm good just Good luck in Tennessee. We got bigger Welcome. things to worry about. Yeah. Um, yeah have, fun, have fun going you know, five and eleven. There's yeah, there's no fun. way to to segue oh, into yeah. this one, and yeah. we don't even need to no. talk about it that long. Uh, Bill Belichick, he on the hot seat this Not year? A chance. No. But I I'll tell you what, if Gerard Mayo came in sooner rather than later, I wouldn't be upset about it. Wouldn't be upset about it because I think so, he'll be a really yeah. good head coach. So what do you, because I, I, I tend to agree. Cause I, I think Mayo, I think what we talked about it, what a few weeks ago when like all the Mayo stuff happened where like, I think we're all kind of in agreement with him sooner than later, what would be 
what would be soon for you guys? Kind of just, and, and this years. isn't this isn't saying that we say think like, Belichick should go, but like, what do you yeah, think? I was, like twenty twenty six, like three years. That would be the suit. That would be the soonest. I would think it it yeah. would happen. And Bring I think Shula's record, really and then to come to then he's good. With the fact that Bill Belichick wouldn't be our head coach anymore. Yeah, I don't like thinking about it. I I think you know what if if twenty twenty six that happened, I think things would have either gone terribly wrong or terribly right. So like they yeah, win he, or he or he broke Shula's record and he wants to ride off into the sunset. All he needs is nineteen wins. Yeah, six, six or seven a year. He'll, he'll be probably do it in next year. year. Oh yeah, he'll he'll do that in two years. He'll do that. He'll do that this year. And also, next year. that would mean that would mean things are going right. He'll break it. He'll break it. Um, yeah, I, I it's just you see that and like you just see it more with like him missing out on Hopkins and it's like I don't if you didn't think he was on the hot seat before. I don't think this makes him on the hot seat. I I think that if if the Patriots have a bad year, whatever you think a bad year is, because every it's everybody thinks differently. The Patriots have a bad year. Then next year, we can talk about is is the seat starting to warm up for Belichick? You know, like say like they miss the playoffs, they have less than ten wins, like. Yeah, like, like the offense doesn't come together how it is. The defense crumbles towards the end of the year. Like if all that happens, for sure. Just like we've said, if Mac Jones has a bad year, we're going to have to have a difficult conversation. Same thing with Bill Belichick. Th- this is a big year for a lot of people, mm-hmm. which, Al, I can understand why you would think you would need DeAndre Hopkins to help that out in that case, since this is a mm-hmm. big year for so many people. Even though mm-hmm. we don't agree on the the levels of it, I get it because this is a big year for tons of people on offense, defense. I mean, people people who who you want to sign in the off season. If the team sucks, no one's going to want to resign. Like it's a, I don't know. It's a it's it's a big thing. But I am glad though that like none of us. So we do not think that he is on the hot seat. Correct. No, Let's just get we're that. Just... fucking people. No. Okay. Shouldn't Thank. Be. Thank you. Yeah, he's yeah. We'll we'll talk next off season, depending on how this year goes, to see how what happens there. Um, we kind of already touched on it, but Denzel Mims, um, does that that do anything for you guys? Would you be interested? Assuming the contract's fine, assuming it's not nothing crazy, is that I've never heard a more unspectacular name in my life. Like it's completely like middle of the road where I'm like, word. They'll probably take a, a flyer on him, see how he does yeah. in camp. Like, I was far more interested in the running backs they brought in than Denzel Mims. Yeah. So, you I mean, know, that, he's fine. He's that's not terrible, but it's like, I, I, who the fuck I think gets excited for Denzel Mims. I don't even think just, his family's hyped up. Denzel that. Mims gets excited for game. Denzel Mims. That's it. I don't um, think so. I, yeah, that, that was more just a palate cleanser for, for really, uh, unless you guys have anything else after this, probably our last thing. Um, Patriots had a running back in. Not the one that we all think that they'll get, Dalvin Cook, or that we want them to get, but uh, Leonard Fournette and who was the other guy? Darnell Henderson. Darnell Henderson uh, from the Rams, right? Yep. Darnell. Okay, cool. Um, the, the name I care more about is Leonard Fournette. Um, still think Darnell Henderson's a good one if you get him. Great. Like, still good, good football player. But Leonard Fournette, I think, would be what we want Dalvin Cook to be. Um, cause who knows if Dalvin cook wants to get starter t- starter reps and all that stuff. Leonard Fournette is a perfect back to pair with Stevenson. I think he can catch the ball too out of the backfield. Uh, he's a bit of a bruiser too. I think that would be a nice one, two punch. Um, you wouldn't get, you know, the elite one, two punch of Stevenson and cook, but, um, I like it. It kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like we saw the, um, Leonard Fournette's name, what, like early this offseason or last offseason? 2020. Maybe? It was in 2020. They brought him in for a visit while before, ago. He signed, okay, yeah. before he signed with the Bucks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what it was. So I don't – Um, how do you guys feel about this? I'm assuming you care a little bit more about this than than Denzel Hall of Fame Mims. Big time. I, uh, I'm looking at his stats here. Last year was Big kind time. of underwhelming. Like, yeah. Well, was I, he uh, hurt last year at all? Yeah, it was okay, um, which is good because if you're a little injury prone, you don't need that. You don't oh, need no, start no. minutes. He, he, uh, he played in 16 games, started nine of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Bucks refused to run the ball last year a lot too, which was 
Yeah, well, they were always down, so that doesn't help. That's um, yeah, but yeah, like basically seven hundred yards and three tubs. Fine, per- perfect complimentary back. They do the exact same thing though. They the exact same type of running back. Like, yep. Stevenson catches the ball. Fournette catches the ball. Like they're both the exact same type of player, except Stevenson's mm-hmm. younger and better. So yeah, it's interesting, but it's not a change of pace back. It's the exact same type of thing. You're getting it's like when Willis McGahee backed up Clinton Portis. They were the exact same running same back. Guys. Just the, yeah. the starter was better. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. I think I think that's good. I think you know yeah. you, it, you pound go, him, pound no, him, there, pound there, him. But there's no James White archetype there. Pierre Obviously Strong? we have Ty Montgomery, Pierre Strong. Yeah. People talk about but Pierre like, Strong is exciting. I yeah. think I think the days of Until James I see White it, are... I can't get too excited about it. Yeah. That's that's true. But no, I think I think it's good. Yeah, I like the I like the four net because you know Stevenson in, Stevenson's in there for a couple drives. Yeah, you take him out. And defense like, oh, thank God he's gone. Fine you bring too. Like Henderson's another. He's a different type of back anyway. He's more of like a scat back, kind of like a speed one cut kind of guy, not so much a power back. But he's not catching the ball. Like he's not doing anything a whole lot different where he contributes. But he's been a mm-hmm. starter in plenty of places. It's. It's a nice compensation prize if we don't get Dalvin Cook, which seems less and less likely as the days go on. Even Passing though they're the betting the favorites, right? right? I'm going to yeah, check on yeah. that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because I think, like, I don't know if maybe that happened because it kind of popped up right when DeAndre Hopkins didn't sign. Dalvin and then Cook it was like, the Titans. <laughs> and then can you imagine? Oh, my God. Dalvin no, Cook signs geez. with the Chiefs. That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. That would piss <clears> me off. But no, yeah, I think uh yeah, I don't know about I don't I don't I've I've given up my hopes on Dalvin Cook. I think that Fournette, if anything, is gonna be the guy. But uh um, yeah, would be the... cool. Because we talked about Ezekiel Elliott, who's fat and terrible. His it's name like, has I been much, I would nowhere. much rather have Leonard Fournette, which is great. I hope oh, that yeah. sides him. I didn't realize nowhere, right? I didn't realize Leonard Fournette was only twenty eight years old. I thought he was much older than that. Yeah, I thought he was pushing 31. Oh, I did too. Yeah. I did no, too. You get so much disrespect for like one of the best college running backs ever. Playoff Lenny. Yeah. Playoff Lenny. So the odds on Dalvin Cook right now, uh, tied for fourth place at plus 1500 are the Dallas Cowboys, the Washington Commanders, and the Denver Broncos. New York Jets have the third best odds at plus 400. Miami That's Dolphins have. Miami Dolphins have the second best odds at plus 200, and the New England Patriots still have the best odds at plus 150. Doesn't mean I wouldn't much, hate though. it. I wouldn't hate I wouldn't it either. No, I now, know. would would that excite you the same that that DeAndre Hopkins would? I think we asked before, but now that Hopkins is gone, like would Dalvin Cook soothe your guys? And like, do you think it would soothe the fans' need for like? Uh, I, f- uh, I think it'd be close. First, first of all, what what's what's best case scenario? Like, if you get him, what's the production you're thinking? See, I don't know because I don't want to take Stevenson out that much. And like, if you want it to be sixty five thirty five, like let's just say that's the breakdown. Like, and then this is what makes me think: do the do you need a Dalvin Cook to do that, or can Leonard Fournette do that same do that same type of production? If if you're only going to see the field thirty five percent of the time, you know, I don't know. I don't. I guess it depends how they use him. Like, Hot take. Oh. Like if you were to look back at the end of this upcoming season and go, he had a good year. What numbers are you picturing? Like you're like he was worth you know who knows what type of money he's got. Al's the math man around here, and he's gone through the projected salaries that he would get and whatnot. But like if you thought about him as a backup, what type of numbers are we looking for here? Are you fine with like you know a James White role where he gets like twenty, and not even like fifteen snaps a game? No. And then like what can you do with that? I know. Like, is four touchdowns good? Are you looking for six? Like, it's weird because as a running back, like you kind of have to be in the flow of the game, so you don't want to take Stevenson out that much. But could you also could you also make Stevenson more of like that pass cat, like include the pass catching element in his game, along with his ability to break tackles, his ability to run downfield? Like, could you add that in? And then if you brought in Dalvin Cook, then you have an elusive back. And Dalvin Cook, and you have the combination of elusive back and power back mm-hmm. with Stevenson. 
Yeah. And like, it's fun to think about. And that's why I asked. Cause it's like, do you split the carries completely down the middle? And you're like, Hey, Ramondre kind of give him the Manu Ginobili treatment say, Hey, we're trying to win. And we're trying to conserve you for a long career. Let's cut all of your production in half for the sake of winning. And you and Dalvin will split 50, 50. You'll catch passes. He'll catch passes. You'll both probably end up with, you know, six touchdowns on the season. One, maybe more, one, maybe less. That's but tough. Then like, and then he's like, then he, that costs him a big payday, you know, a couple of years down yeah, the line because yeah. running backs don't get paid. We're seeing what Saquon Barkley's doing. So that's why I propose, yeah. like, what is your measure of success for Dalvin Cook? Because I picture like 200 to 300 yards receiving and then like 500, 600 yards rushing. But then that would yeah. mean he would get a lot of carries. I was going to say, I was going to say right around like 800 yards total. And then, you know, maybe like four or five touchdowns. And then you get the same from Ramondre, yeah. you know, so... which is pretty good. My, my, so real quick while you do, while you're looking at that, Mike, my yeah. hot take is that I think obviously two reasons. The one obvious reason is the Patriots are the betting favorites to get uh, Dalvin Cook. But I think it also is more of, it feels like pressure now because of the two other teams that are in it, the Dolphins and the Jets, because then you'd have to see him twice a year. So I think yeah. that's adding yeah. a little bit of pressure too. Whereas with, the, I know we're done talking about, but with DeAndre Hopkins, the two teams that were in the mix for him a little bit were out of your division. And really you didn't, you would have to see him once every like four years. Whereas with Cook, or you know, if he ends up with the Jets, day. ends up with the Dolphins, then, you know, you're going to have to game plan against him for, you know, the next couple of years. So how old is he, Mike? Are you looking up his Dalvin stats? Cook? Dalvin Cook's 27. I would not have guessed that Leonard Fournette and Dalvin Cook were a year apart. I would never have guessed that. So I would say Dalvin Cook probably has two good years left. Yeah. You know, two of like whatever production he had last year, which we looked it up a week or two ago. Yeah, 1173 yards last year. Yep, which is. Yeah, Yeah, which is good because Ramondre had 1040. So that, and that's why I wanted to look it up because you got to think. Ramondre missed games. So you would assume, let's just, let's just assume Stevenson gets 1100 this year because he had 1040. Yeah. Let's get, you know, b- better off, like just kind of right around there, improve a little bit. So 1100. Yeah. So Cook isn't going to get anywhere near no. 1173. Like so 300 rushing yards. So that, so that's what I'm saying. Do you think that? So Liam, to go to your question, which is why it's such a tough question, because then like you don't know what money you're going to give him, like how much money you want. Like, are you going to pay a backup yeah. a really good contract to get? what would you say? Like 700 yards? Like, I think that I, I, might even be a case. lot. Best. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Cause he had like 264 total yards. Oh God. Yeah. Cause, cause Ramondre had 210 rushes last year. But like Cook Al said, we got the money to spend. Let's throw it out there. Al's not a fan of good business. Let's yeah. Just throw yeah. money at the wall. <laughs> Start lighting I shit on fire. I don't know, dude. The more machine. I think about it, the like, if I had to pick between Cook and, and Fournette, obviously I would take Cook because he's just a bet, talented player. Like you want him here, but yeah. I just, I still well, you could Stevenson, also pay Lenny bullshit and then like get. We'll see. That's know, what I'm thinking. The can production. can could you see Leonard Fournette having five hundred and eighty yards to spell Stevenson when he has Stevenson has eleven fifty or something like that? Oh, I can see that. No. Uh, I can see. What well, you think less? I don't know. Yeah, that's. I mean, like, are we gonna pass the ball? Uh, well, see, see, and that's just it. Do you need yeah, so? It's like, do you? It throw? goes back to like, do you need? And You're I know Stevenson has a injury total things. of like fifteen hundred yards. Like, well, yeah. See, that's. Then that again, worked. like you look back in the day, and like Marshall wow. Falk had those crazy numbers on a pass happy team but also he was the only back so it's like True. this is yeah. from because so there's multiple tough. dimensions so it's like you're splitting wow. between passing and running and then you're splitting the running which has already been split between two guys so it's a lot of math honestly al you should be taking taking hold of this because yeah, i like don't it. i don't see it now that, like I'm like the only now i'm out like do it's... you like does cook come here on a one-year deal but then, like, if he comes here, like, if if he but then can't... he would just sign with the Dolphins or the Jets, who are probably offering stupid money because they have a lot of money to be a starter stock. too. Because you got to yeah. think about it as a running back, twenty seven. Like, you don't like. like Although you they just, got the Jets one... drafted Brees Hall, so he, you know, well, Brees Hall is on the pup list right now. They just put him on yeah, the pup list. He's coming back. 
Oh yeah, we'll but that's just, that that makes me think he's he's got injuries. So I don't I don't. But see, maybe Cook could be the. I don't he tore know. his ACL. Yeah. You know what? Oh, at this at this point, just bring in Leonard Fournette. Bring in Fournette. Yeah. Ride with Stevenson. Get but, similar but, production cheap. But Fournette yeah. will take a little bit of pressure off of Stevenson. That's the big thing. Yeah. Get me right? a running back that's gonna not. Get me a running back that's gonna give you some production and have Ramondre Stevenson not kind of peter out toward the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. The especially business. so sick though. Like thinking about how much fun Stevenson and oh, Cook would be. You know, you fake the handoff to Stevenson, throw the screen to Cook, he takes oh. it fifty yards. Watch they Shit watch like they, watch they sign him now. Imagine, him I mean, yeah, it's like, well, fuck, man, like what? <laughs> like, come on, you hand it off to Stevenson. He, we finally get the flea flicker that Mike so desperately wants. He throws oh, it back to me Mac, who throws flicker. it to Dalvin Cook down the sideline. Oh my like god! That. Just like yeah. weird plays that most teams wouldn't run because they don't have two number one running backs. Where it's like you do plays that the Browns run, basically. Where it's like, yeah, we got two number one guys. Let's, Let's just, just only throw throw some people out there. I, yeah, I will say this, Al, just just to give because it, it, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about. If you're going between the the running back room and the wide receiver room. If you had to pick what room you needed to add talent to more, I think I it was, was wide receivers as opposed to running back. Well, just, yes. because like I yes. think if you're if you're gonna pick between one of the rooms, so that this would almost be an embarrassment of riches as at the running back at the running back room. But yeah, I don't know. It'd be it'd be. And, and it'd be does that make you guys feel good? Where it's like if we get Dalvin Cook, it's like well, instead of bolstering our wide receiver core, which everyone's been suspect, suspect about. We just made our strength our ultimate strength, and we're going to throw the ball. Like so, yeah, yeah we just made our strength. even so, Right now, I'm going into it, and, and I think this is kind of where we'll just like where we feel about the offense right now. We'll just end it here. I, I'm i going into the year. I'm fine if they don't make any more moves, because if it wasn't Hopkins, like I don't see. Not I, Hopkins, I just I don't want it. I don't see another guy that's going to come in here and really – like make that much of a difference, even though you know Antonio Hopkins again Brown's wasn't still a free agent. God, didn't he say that he signed a deal with the with with the Packers yeah. or some shit? He tweet whatever. Yeah, yeah he, he he sucks. He's I don't know. Ridiculous. I the the way I see it now, this is the team the Patriots are riding with on the offense. But how they have right here, maybe with Leonard Fournette, and if that's the case, I'm fine with it. Let's go. Let's roll. Yeah. Great defense, good offense, great running game. Let's fuck shit up. Any 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 final words on the offense without DeAndre Hopkins from you guys before we go? Just with the Dalvin Cook thing, if they signed him, just talking about it now with you guys, I'd probably be even more confused than I am right now looking at the offense as it is. <laughs> like, it'd be cool. I'd be like, sweet. Like Al said, we're stacking talent. But then I'd also be like, how is this one going to work? Like, what are we doing? I, I'd like yeah. to see one more move. One more Where, move. Receiver? <laughs> you think receiver? Or what are you thinking? Like what? Uh, what? What room? I was like, trade for Dal- Darren Waller. We need another tight end. <laughs> Darren, Waller. Darren Waller would be nice. What? What room do you think, Al? If you're gonna, if you're gonna get him, if you want to yeah. add some. What's your favorite room, Al? Oh no, is Al? Can you, Liam? Can you his hear fa- Al? His no, his favorite his room is the one that has good Wi-Fi. That's Al's favorite room. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right. All right. So I don't. I don't know if Al. I don't know if Al's gonna come back. Um, but it, it had to happen at some point. But yeah, so so this this was the DeAndre Hopkins. The, the, there it is. There he is. Al, there before we go, go, while we have you, what you, yes. you said you want to see him add someone? What are you talking about? Receiver, tight end, running back. Ideally, receive. Ideally, receiver. Maybe another like good old lineman. If somehow, some way. But if you sign Leonard Fournette, that's fine. That's like, good. Uh, at All this right. point, go get Leonard Fournette. Go get. Well, go you get just want line. a move. You just want just the something. Excitement. So G- give me something. Get get the get the get the the juices flowing. Yeah, I got okay. you, Denzel Mims. Denzel okay, Mims. Endorphins guys. going a little bit. That's who we're getting. I'll Denzel report from training Mims. camp next week. Yes, 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 I'll yes. So Al's there. going to training camp. Uh, Liam might be going. You going with him? Yeah. Fuck. You're going. Like, okay. Good. 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 So we'll we'll be, get some content out there. Two thirds of the Tuck Rule boys will be down there, so that's good. Uh, pay attention to the Tuck Rule takes social media. We'll I know push, we say we'll it every year, there. Mike, but if you don't come down for a game this year, me and Al are looking for a new co-host. We're gonna cut. Well, you. there's no DeAndre Hopkins, so what's the point? That's true. Isn't that we're the? Anyway. Is it, is it, no, yeah. I'll come. We're probably, I'll, get, we're probably gonna lose your birthday game, so you might as well not even come. Ah, oh, shit! That's the <laughs> Chiefs, isn't it? Fuck. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah no, not, not that game. Not that game. Another one. I'll, oh, I'll that's pick actually a different a one. We will go. The Patriots always do well against Patrick Mahomes. Always. We, Even we with will, Brian we Hoyer, will all we go to a game. game. We'll start looking them up once, like, the season starts because that's when tickets will be, like, you know, kind of where they're at. But, um, yeah. all right. So, for Liam, Al, I'm Mike. This is Tuck Rule Takes. The DeAndre Hopkins saga is over. He's gone. Let's all move on, hopefully. And we'll just see what happens. Go after the next big, big name guy that's going to break our heart. Denzel Mims. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys oh, later. Oh, God.